All right, last example. Um, so this is one where we're gonna do a confidence inter interval. So a two sample T interval for a difference in means. Um, so let's get started. Some good science. Ashton and Olivia wanna know if generic chocolate chip cookies have as many chocolate chips as name brand chocolate chip cookies on average. To investigate, they select randomly select 10 bags of Chips Ahoy cookies and 10 bags of Great Value cookies and randomly select one cookie from each bag. Then they carefully broke apart each cookie and counted the number of chocolate chips in each. Here are their results. Um, and we want to construct and interpret a 99% confidence interval for the difference in the mean number of chop chocolate chips in Chips Ahoy and Great Value. All right, so let's come over to this next page. Let's get started on our state which I am going to say is uh first thing we're gonna do is say let's go mute chips ahoy okay minus mu great value and that's going to represent the true mean difference in number of chocolate chips All right, and then we're gonna state what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a, oh geez, what percent? 99% confidence interval I should say, let's call it a 99% uh, two sample T interval. Four, mu chips ahoy minus mu, uh, what is it called? Great value. All right, so plan, we're gonna check our conditions. So random, both samples were stated as random. Um, 10%, all right, so what is, let's see, our Sample size is 10 bags. So I'm gonna say 10 times 10 equals 100 and we'll assume more than 100 bags in both populations. And then the large counts is not satisfied and they don't tell us anything about the, um, the parent populations. So we need to graph each sample. Okay. And I'm going to take the time to do that just so that you guys know what that entails. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Chips Ahoy data in list one and the great value data in list two. I'm gonna pause the video real quick and then uh, we can come back and look at what to do next. All right, so I've got my data graphed, or sorry, I've got my data entered. Now I'm gonna graph it. So I'm gonna go into my stat plot 
I'm going to turn plot one on. I'm going to choose uh, the box plot. I'm going to tell it my Chips Ahoy data is in list one. All right, but then I'm going to go back into stat plot. I'm going to turn plot two on because I need to graph both sets of data. On, I'm going to choose my box plot. I'm going to tell it that that that's my great value cookie data that's coming from list two. I'll quit. Then I'm going to do a zoom nine, which is my zoom stat. Oh no, invalid dimension. So let's see what's wrong. Stat edit is my data in there? Yes. Okay. Let's go double check here. Plot one on. Oh. Whoops. Plot one. I didn't change my X list. That should be list one. Enter. Now let's try it. Zoom. Nine, and I have some calculus stuff going on here, so let me clear that out. All right, now we're finally ready. And as you can see, there's no super strong skew in either one of these, so all I need to do now is trace. I'm gonna copy these onto my paper, or in this case, on my iPad. I'm gonna give some scale, so some x-axis, and I'll just use this five number summary to do so. So I'm going to pause it again, and I'll come back having sketched that out for you. All right, I'm back. We got our sketch here. Created a little key. Gave some sense of scale. You don't need to give me like, you know, 100 tick marks, but you got to give some sense of scale and, and gave a label. So all we're going to make a statement about at this point is... Uh, I'm just going to say no evidence of extreme skew in either sample. So it is safe to proceed with T procedures. All right, so I'm ready for the do, which is now we are going to make our calculations. And we're actually going to fully do this in the calculator. Um, so this is going to be our 99% two sample t interval for a difference in means. Um, and we're just going to hit up stat tests. And this one is going to be, whoops, went a little too far there, stat tests and this one's going to be a two sample t interval and specifically we're going to do this one based on data because we have raw data and we want it exactly how it's already set up we want our list one to come from l1 our list two to come from l2 we'll keep the frequencies at one don't worry about that we're going to change the confidence level to 0.99 not used pooled data, and then we're just going to calculate it and copy it over. All right, so we got a difference between negative 4.814 and 2.813. So the true mean difference falls somewhere between there. We're going to copy down our degrees of freedom. So actually, let me copy this down real quick while we're on this screen. So it's negative 4.814 to 2.814. I'm going to write down my degrees of freedom are 13.14 or 13.15, I guess. Um, X bar for Chips Ahoy was 18.4. X bar for great value is 19.4. Sigma for Chips Ahoy or standard deviation for Chips Ahoy 
is 1.78 and standard deviation for great value is 3. Point, I'm going to call it 60. All right. I'll bring you guys back. Great. So we're ready to conclude. All right, and our conclusion is this. Uh, so we are 99% confident the true mean difference in chips I'm just going to make a note that was chips ahoy minus great value falls between negative 4.814 and 2.814 chips. All right, great. Does your interval provide convincing evidence that there is a difference in the mean number of chocolate chips? And our answer to that would be no. Uh, and the reason is zero is a plausible value on our interval. Meaning no mean difference is plausible, meaning it's plausible that they have the same amount of cookies. It's also plausible that great value has more cookies than Chips Ahoy or vice versa, because we have negative, positive, and zero all falling on our interval. All right, so that's it. We got through all the new content. I'm going to hold some office hours this week, so hopefully I'll see some of you. We can talk about the AP exam, but next week we're just going to be getting started. Uh, practicing some FRQs, practicing turning them in, and I'll score them and get them back to you. Hope everything's going well for you guys. Stay safe.